Now let's take questions from exercise 26. Question number 1. It says, One tap can fill a cistern in 2 hours and another can empty it in 3 hours. How long will it take to fill the cistern if both the taps are open? Let's say the filler is A. So A can fill the tank in 2 hours. And let's say I put a plus sign to show that it is a filler. And let's say B is an emptier and its time is 3 hours. Right? So what we do is we assume that the total work is the LCM. Okay, so total work is in this case the tank, capacity of tank, and that is LCM of the time, that is LCM of 2 and 3, which is 6. So let's say it is 6 liters. So from here we can calculate the speeds. A's speed would be 6 by 2, that is plus 3 liters per hour, and B's speed would be 6 by 3, which is minus 2 liters per hour. Plus sign to show that it fills, and minus sign to show that it empties. So uh, A and B combined speed, combined speed would be 3 minus 2, which is 1 liter per hour. As you can see, A fills 3 liters in 1 hour and B removes, empties 2 liters in 1 hour. So their effective speed would be 1 liter per hour. So time taken together to fill would be equal to the total capacity of tank that is 6 liter divided by 1 liter per hour, which is 6 hours. Right? This also has a direct method. Uh, uh, the other method for the same question would be, other method for question number one would be like this. Time together, the way we had, uh, this in the situation when two people were working together and both were positive, there we could calculate the together time as T1 into T2 upon T1 plus T2. Similarly, if one is a filler and one is an emptier, the time together will be calculated as T1 into T2 upon T2 minus T1, where we are assuming that T2 is the emptier, T2 is the negative worker, T2 is the time for negative worker, right? Here, the positive worker is three, uh, positive worker is two hours and negative worker is three hours divided by three minus two, right? Now, here you need to understand that the time for the filler, time for the positive worker should be smaller so that the, the speed of positive worker is higher, then only the work will be completed. Okay, I repeat, time for the positive worker should be smaller, time for the negative worker should be higher, then only the work can be completed. Just remember that. So this becomes 6 by 1 and that is 6 hours. Right? So you can directly calculate the time together from the formula T1 into T2 upon T1, T2 minus T1 and memorize that T1 is the time for positive worker and T2 is the time for negative worker and T2 has to be greater than T1. Then only the work can be completed. Right? T2 should be greater than T1, then only the work can be completed. Okay? Now let's take up question number 2. A tap can fill a tank in 25 minutes, another can empty it in 50 minutes. Find whether the tank will be filled up or emptied in and in how many minutes very clearly we are very clearly we are saying that t1 is equal to 25 minutes and t2 which is the emptier it is minus 50 and t2 is equal to 50 minutes but we know that t2 is the time for negative worker and t1 is the time for positive worker all right that means we can directly apply the formula. So here T2 is greater than T1. We have already said the condition for, for to be able to apply that formula is a time for negative worker should be higher than time for positive worker. All right. So time together, time together will be equal to T1 into T2 upon T2 minus T1. So we have straight away 25 into 50 upon 50 minus 25. So it is 25 into 50 divided by 50 minus 25 is 25, 25 and 25 cancel. So the answer is 50 minutes. Okay. So 50 minutes is the duration taken by both of them together to fill the time. Repeat, I repeat one more thing here. The time to fill is 25 minutes. Time to empty is 50 minutes for the same capacity. That means the time for positive work is smaller. 
This means the speed of positive work is higher. Hence, the work will be completed. Hence, the tank will be filled. All right. Now, let's take up the next question. Third one. It's a direct question, as you can see. It says, two taps A and B can fill a tank in 10 hours and 15 hours, respectively. If both the taps are open together, the tank will be full in. Straight away, we can apply time together is equal to T1 into T2 upon T1 plus T2. All right, so it is 150 divided by 25, which is 6 hours. Okay, so answer is 6 hours straight away. Let's take up the fourth question. Two pipes A and B separately can fill an empty cistern in 12 hours and 15 hours, respectively. In what time will the cistern be emptied? So here, both the workers are negative workers and the work is also negative. We have to empty, right? So if both the pipes are open together, in how much time they can empty it? Very simple. We can still apply the same formula, the time together. Here, the work itself is emptying. So, emptying times are given 12 and 15. So, we apply T1 into T2 upon T1 plus T2. That is 12 into 15 upon 12 plus 15. That is equal to 180 upon 27. 9 cancels 180 20 times and 27 3 times. So, it is 20 by 3 hours, which is 6 2 by 3 hours. Now, 6 2 by 3 hours is 6 hours and 40 minutes. Alright. So, together they can fill the tank in 6, uh, sorry, empty the tank in 6 hours and 40 minutes. Okay. Now, let's take up question number 5. It says, a water tank is 2 by 5 full. Pipe A can fill the tank in 10 minutes. Pipe B can empty it in 6 minutes. Okay. So, let's take total work. Total work in this case is the capacity of tank. So, total work is equal to LCM of 10 and 6, that is 30 liters. So, the capacity of tank is 30 liters. Now, A, which is a positive worker, takes 10 minutes to fill the tank. So, we can calculate the speed of A and that would be 30 by 10, which is 3 liters per minute. And this is plus 3 liters per minute. Now, B, which is an emptier, can empty the tank in 6 minutes. That means, speed of B would be 30 by 6, which is minus 5 liters per minute. Right? So, their combined speed, combined speed, as you can see, would be 3 minus 5. 3 minus 5 would be minus 2 liters per minute. Alright? That means, they will definitely empty the tank now the water the tank already is 2 by 5 full so water available in the tank water available in the tank is 2 by 5 of the capacity that is 30 so 5 6 are 30 6 2 are 12 liters so we have to calculate how much time will they take together with the speed of 2 liter per minute to empty 12 liter right so one thing is clear the time is taken to empty. So, time to empty the tank would be 12 liter divided by 2 liter per minute, which is equal to 6 minutes time to empty. Right? We know the time to, uh, we know that it will be empty because speed of emptying is higher. Alright. Now, let's take up question number 6. It says, a cistern is normally filled in 8 hours but takes 2 hours longer to fill because of a leak in its bottom, right? That means, what we can do here is there are multiple methods to do this question. Let's assume that the filler takes 8 hours, so T1 is 8 hours. T2 is the time for leak, time taken by leakage to empty the whole tank, okay? And time together, time together is given as 2 hours longer, so 10 hours. And in place of time together, we can apply T1 into T2 upon T2 minus T1. That is equal to 10. So, from here we get T1 is 8 into T2 upon T2 minus 8. That is equal to 10. If you simplify 8 T2 is equal to 10 T2 minus 80. Uh, by rearrangement, we get 2 T2 is equal to 40. No, 40. It is 80. And hence T2 is equal to 40 minutes. 
the time taken by the leakage to uh, 40 hours sorry it is 40 40 hours okay all right the answer is 40 hours now let's take another method other method for the same question we are here we are saying that the uh, time taken to fill the tank let's say t1 that is 8 hours and time together time together is 2 hours longer so 10 hours so let's take lcm of these two to be the capacity of tank so tank would be equal to lcm of 8 and 10 that is 40 liters so from here we can see that the speeds speeds of the filler would be equal to 40 by uh, 8 that is 5 liter per hour and speed of combined combined speed would be equal to 40 by 10 that is 4 liter per hour now filler speed is 5 liter per hour combined speed is 4 liter per hour that means speed of leakage speed of leak very clearly you can see that it will be 1 liter per hour so how much time will be taken by the leak to empty the whole tank that is 40 liter divided by 1 liter per hour 40 liter divided by 1 liter per hour that is 40 hours so this was another way of doing the same question all right i'll discuss one more method to do this question wherein i will not consider the speed or the capacity let's take it it says here we are saying the other method one more method for question number 6. Now here we are saying that the tank is equivalent to 8 hours of filler. Right. And then we are saying that it takes too long, 2 hours longer. So 8 hours it had to take, it was supposed to take, it has taken. And it has taken 2 hours longer. So I will say 2 hours of filler is equivalent to or equal to what? Why does it take 2 hours extra? Why does it take 2 hours longer? It takes 2 hours longer to compensate the loss caused by the leakage over a period of 8 plus 2 that is 10 hours. Because the leak has worked constantly from beginning to end that is duration of 10 hours. So 2 hours of filler is required just to compensate 10 hours of leakage. Alright. Now just multiply by 4 on both the sides so that we get 8 hours of filler on left hand side. Now, whatever we get on the right hand side, it will be 40 hours of leakage. We already know that 8 hours of filler is equal to tank. So, 40 hours of leakage is also equal to tank. That means the leak can empty the tank in 40 hours. Okay. That is what the question is asking. So, these are some good ways of doing this question. Now for the next question, question number 7, it says a cistern has a leak which would empty it in 8 hours, a tap is turned on, here there is a reverse situation, right, there is an emptying uh, leakage and there is a filling tap, the, the speed of the filling tap is given 6 liters per minute and now it is emptied in 12 hours, that means, now here it is saying that the the end of the day the tank is empty so emptying speed must be higher okay right so here we are saying so let's take emptying as the main work so filling would be the negative work all right so t1 is equal to 8 hours time together is equal to 12 hours and t2 is say the time taken by time taken by filler to full tank okay so we have time together equal to t1 into t2 upon t2 minus t1 which is equal to 8 into t2 upon t2 minus 8 and time together is given as 12 hours so 12 is equal to 8 into t2 upon t2 minus 8 you just multiply you will get 12 t2 minus 96 is equal to 8 t2 so we have 4 t2 is equal to 96 
and T2 is equal to 24 hours. So we have calculated the time taken by the filler tap to fill the whole tank. So from here we can calculate the capacity of tank. How? Now the capacity of tank would be equal to the water or quantity filled by the tap at the rate of 6 liter per minute during entire 24 hours. So let's say 24 hours into 60 minutes into 6 liter per minute. Okay. Now 24 into uh, 6 into 6 is 36. So 24 into 360 liters. Minute and minute gets cancelled. This is the capacity of tank. Now 24 into 36 is 864 0 liter. So this is the capacity of tank. So first we did not use this key. We used uh, the variable T2 as the time taken by the filler to fill the tank. And then we calculated the time taken by it, which is 24 hours. Now, from, from the given rate that is given 6 liter per minute, how, what is the total capacity to be filled in 24 hours? That was that's what we calculated. 24 hours into 60 minutes. That is the total number of minutes into 6 liter per minute. That will give us 8640 liters. That is the capacity of tank. Now, question number 8. It's a simple question. It says, uh, it's a straightforward question actually. Two pipes can fill a tank in 10 hours and 12 hours. Let's call them A and B. So A can fill the tank in 10 hours. B can fill the tank in 12 hours. And C can empty the tank in 20 hours. Okay, so I'm putting a minus sign in front of C just to show that it is an emptier. So what do we do? We take the total work. That is the capacity of tank. So total work is equal to LCM of 10, 12 and 20 that must be equal to 60 liters. So from there we can calculate the speeds of all these three. Speed of the first one would be 60 by 10 that is 6 liter per hour and will be a positive speed. Uh, uh, for B it will be 60 by 12 that would be plus 5 liter per hour and for C it would be 60 by 20 which is 3 and it is minus 3 liter per hour. So from here we can see that their combined speed, combined speed would be equal to 6 plus 5 minus 3. 6 plus 5 is 11 minus 3 that is 8 plus 8 liters per hour. That means the tank can be filled. And the time taken, time together to fill the tank would be equal to capacity of tank 60 liter divided by the combined speed that is 8 liter per hour. So we have uh, 60 by 8 that is 15 by 2 7 and a half hours which is equal to 7 hours and 30 minutes so the answer of the question is 7 hours and 30 minutes right now let's take question number 9 same question uh, in similar question, ABC can fill a cistern in 10, 12 and 15 hours respectively while working alone. If all the three pipes are open together, the time taken to fill the cistern would be. Uh, let's take the uh, times are A uh, is, is 10 hours, B is 12 hours and here all of them are filling. So all of them are positive workers. So C is 15 hours. Alright. So let's take the total work, total work to be LCM of 10 12 and 15 that is 60 liters. Now the, we can calculate the speeds from here. A speed would be 60 by 10 that is 6 liters per hour. B speed would be 60 by 12 that is 5 liters per hour. C speed would be 60 by 15 that is 4 liters per hour. So the combined speed of all the three, combined speed of all the three would be equal to 6 plus 5 plus 4. Here all of them are filling. Nobody, no pipe is empty. So it is 6 plus 5, 11 plus 4, 15 liters per hour. So their combined speed is 15 liters per hour. Total capacity is 60 liters. So time together to fill the tank would be equal to total capacity, 60 liter, divided by total combined speed that is 15 liters per hour, which is 4 hours. All right. Now let's take question number 10, standard question, A takes 24 minutes to fill the tank, 24 minutes to fill the tank, B takes 30 minutes to fill the tank, 
C is not known, but it's given that C is an outlet pipe, and uh, uh, A, B, C together, A, B, C together, they take 20 minutes to fill the tank. So what we do is we take LCM of these three values. So total work, total work would be equal to LCM of 24, 30, and 20. Now LCM of 24, 30, and 20 would be 120 liters. Right. So from there we can find the speeds. Speed of A would be equal to 120 divided by 24, which is plus 5 liter per minute. Speed of B would be 120 divided by 30, that is equal to plus 4 liters per minute. And their combined speed would be 120 divided by 20, which is plus 6 liters per minute. Please note that this is the combined speed. Right? Combined speed of A, B and C together. And A and B combined speed, A plus B speed is equal to 9 liters per minute. From here you can see very clearly that speed of C should be equal to minus 3 liters per minute. How do we get that? We get it from 6 minus 9. Okay. The combined speed is 6 liter per minute, whereas only A and B together speed is 9 liters per minute. So it's very evident it's plus 9. So very evident that the speed of C has to be negative and it has to be minus 3 liters per minute. Anyway, so speed value is 3 liters per minute. Minus sign shows that it is an outlet pipe. Now the question is how much time will be taken by C to empty the full tank, right? So time taken by C for full tank to empty full tank would be equal to Capacity of tank divided by speed of C that is 3 which is 40 minutes. Alright. So the whole idea is to calculate speed of all possible combinations. Okay. Now the next question is exactly the same. Let's say A and B are the filler pipes. So uh, what we'll do, we'll directly take it, take the total work to be, it says already. It says there are two taps to fill a tank and they take 10 minutes and 12 minutes respectively when there is no uh, uh, emptying pipe. And if all the three are open, that means both filler and the emptier, they take 15 minutes. So total work can be taken as LCM of 10, 12 and 15 that comes out to be 60 liters. Alright. Now let's say A takes 10 minutes to fill the tank. So speed of A would be 60 by 10 that is plus 6 liters per minute. Okay. B takes 15 minutes, no, 12 minutes to fill the tank. So speed of B would be 60 by 12, which is plus 5 liters per minute. Okay. And uh, together, all the three, that means A, B, C, where we are saying that C is an outlet pipe, together they take 15 minutes to fill the tank. That means together speed would be 60 by 15 which is plus 4 liters per minute. Alright. Please note that the combined speed of fillers, so combined speed of A and B, that is equal to 6 plus 5, which is 11 liter per minute. Alright. Whereas, the combined speed of all the three, this is A plus B plus C speed, that is 4 liter per minute. That means, only C speed, so speed of C should be equal to 4 minus 11, that is minus 7 liters per minute. Okay. So the speed of C is 7 liters per minute and uh, 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 the minus sign shows that it is an emptier. Okay. So the time alone for the C or the third pipe uh, to empty the whole tank, so time for C to empty the whole tank, empty the full tank alone would be equal to the capacity of tank that is 60 divided by the speed that is 60, a uh, 60 liter divided by 7 liters per minute. So 7, 60 by 7 minutes that is 8 minutes, you can simplify it will be 8, uh, will be 7 8s are, so 8, 4 by 7. 8, 4 by 7. So, 8 minutes and 4 by 7 seconds will be 
4 by 7 minutes will be approximately 34 seconds. So the answer is 8 minutes and 34 seconds. Now let's take up the next question, question number 12. It says, a cistern has two taps which fill it in 12 minutes and 15 minutes respectively. There is also a waste pipe. So let's say the fillers are A and B. So A takes 12 minutes, B takes 15 minutes. And let's say the waste pipe is C. C speed is not given. C time is not given. That's what we have to find. But together A, B and C, C is the waste pipe. Okay. Together A, B and C, they take 20 minutes. So what we can do is we can assume the total tank, total work to be LCM of 12, 15 and 20, which is equal to 60 liters. So the capacity of tank is 60 liters. Okay. Now we can calculate the speeds of A, B and the combined speed. Speed of A would be 60 by 12, that is plus 5 liter per minute, plus 5 to show that it is a filler. Second one is 60 by 15, so it will be plus 4 liters per minute. So their combined speed of the fillers, that is A and B combined speed, would be equal to 5 plus 4, 9 liters per minute. Okay, it is plus 9 liters per minute. And the combined speed of all the three would be 60 by 20, which is plus 3 liters per minute. From here, this is the combined speed of all of ABC. Okay, so A plus B plus C combined speed, that is 3 liters per minute. From here, we can see that the speed of C, speed of C must be equal to 3 minus 9, which is minus 6 liters per minute. So, the speed of C is 6 liters per minute and negative signs show that it is emptier. So, 6 liters per minute. Okay. Alright. Now, see from here. So, that means the time taken by the waste pipe C to for, for the whole tank, to empty the whole tank that would be equal to the capacity of tank 60 liter divided by 6 liters per minute which is equal to 10 minutes all right so this is the situation okay 13th question is almost a repeat two taps can separately fill a cistern in 10 minutes and 15 minutes waste pipe is open together they fill it in 18 minutes let's take lcm total work total work would be LCM of 10, 15 and 18. LCM of 10, 15 and 18 would be 90. So let's say the capacity is 90 liters. All right. So let's say the fillers are A and B. So A takes 10 minutes, B takes 15 minutes and A, B, C together where C is the waste pipe. Together they take 18 minutes. So from here we can come find their speeds. The speed of A would be 90 by 10 that is plus 9 liters per minute. Speed of B would be 90 by 15 which is plus 6 liters per minute. Hence the combined speed of A and B together would be equal to 9 plus 6, 15 liters per minute. And from here, we can calculate the combined speed of all ABC together would be 90 divided by 18, which is plus 5 liters per minute. So this is A plus B plus C combined speed, that is 5 liters per minute. So from here, we can calculate that the speed of C is equal to 5 minus 15. So speed of all of them is 5, speed of two of them is 15. So the third one will be minus 10 liters per minute, right? I hope you understand the speed is 10 liter per minute. Minus sign shows that it's a waste pipe, it's a leakage. So the time taken by C to empty the whole tank, empty the full cistern, that would be equal to the capacity of tank that is 90 liters divided by speed that is 10 liters per minute. Now 90 by 10 is 9 minutes. Okay, so this is how such questions should be solved. Now let's take up next question, question number 14. It says if two pipes
function simultaneously the reservoir will be filled in 12 hours so time together is 12 hours now time together can be calculated as t1 into t2 upon t1 plus t2 and that is equal to 12 hours now one pipe fills the reservoir 10 hours faster than the other so suppose t1 is the slower one and t2 is the faster one so let's assume that t1 is equal to x hours and it is the slower one so uh, sorry t1 is the faster one right so t2 must take 10 hours more than that so it is uh, let's say t1 as the faster one and t2 as the slower one so the faster one will take less time slower one will take more time so t2 takes x plus 10 hours all right so we we can place these values in this equation we get x into x plus 10 upon x plus x plus 10 that is equal to 12 so if you simplify x square plus 10x is equal to 12 into 2x square plus 10 uh, sorry 2x plus 10 it is 2x plus 10 now if you open it you get x square plus 10x is equal to 24x plus 120 bring all of them on the same side it gives you a quadratic equation x square minus 14x minus 120 equal to 0 now you can break this equation as 120 is 20 into 6 and because there is a minus sign to so 20 minus 6 is 14 so it is x square minus 20x plus 6x minus 120 equal to 0 so we'll give it we'll get 1x minus 20 into x plus 6 so we have x is equal to 20 or minus 6 time cannot be negative so it has to be 20 hours right so the faster one takes 20 hours and the other one takes 30 hours the slower one takes 30 hours right so faster one takes 20 hours the question is asking the time taken by faster one slower one takes 30 hours be careful while marking the answer okay now let's take question number 15 one fill pipe A is three times faster than the second fill pipe B and takes, takes 32 minutes less than the fill pipe B. Now let's assume that fill pipe A takes X minutes. Now because it is X three times faster, that means B is three times slower. So B will take more time. How much more? Three times more. So if A is taking X minutes, B must take three X minutes. All right. And the difference between them is 32 minutes. So we have 3x minus x is equal to 32. So that means 2x is equal to 32, x is equal to 16. That means time of A is 16 minutes and time of B is 3x which is 48 minutes. Now the question is asking how much time will they take together. So time together, I hope you remember by now very clearly that it is T1 into T2 upon T1 plus T2. So we have 16 into 48 divided by 64. 16 cancels 64 4 times, 4 cancels 48 12 times. So the answer is 12 minutes. So together they will fill the tank in 12 minutes. Alright. Now let's take up the next question. Question number 16. A reservoir is provided by two pipes A and B. A can fill the reservoir 5 hours faster than B. Right, so A is faster. So A's time should be lesser. Okay. So suppose time taken by A is X hours. That means time taken by B would be 5 hours more because A is faster. So time taken by B would be more than A. Uh, that is X plus 5 hours. Right. Now time together is given 6 hours. So we can calculate as T1 into T2 upon T1 plus T2 equal to 6 hours and from here we have to calculate the value of x. So it is x square plus 5x is equal to 6 into 2x plus 5. Open it, you get x square plus 5x equal to 12x plus 30. Bring all of them on the same side to get x square minus 7x minus 30 equal to 0. Now 30 is 10 into 3. So it is x square minus 10x plus 3x minus 30 equal to 0. So it is x minus 10 
into x plus 3 equal to 0 so it is x equal to 10 or minus 3 now time cannot be negative so it has to be 10 hours so the faster one takes 10 hours and the slower one take 5 hours more that is 15 hours okay now the question says the faster one that is a so a is time is 10 hours right be careful the answer of the question would be 10 hours question is asking it will be filled by a alone so it is 10 hours okay now let's take question number 17 it says two pipes a and b can fill a cistern in four minutes and six minutes respectively if these pipes are turned on alternatively for one minute each how long will it take for the cistern to fill now this question must be done properly uh, let's take the total work that is the total tank equal to lcm of their time so lcm of 4 and 6 that is 4 and 6 lcm will be 12 liters so that means speed of a would be 12 divided by 4 that is plus 3 liter per minute and the speed of b would be 12 liter divided by 6 minute that is 2 plus 2 liter per minute now this means this means that in a duration of 2 minutes now here they are working on alternate minutes right so one uh, first minute let's say a works then in the next one minute b works then again in the next one minute a works then again next one minute b works so in any duration of 2 minutes total water filled will be 3 plus 2 that is 5 liters now 5 is not a direct factor of 12 so first we go to the nearest multiple of 5 to 12 that is 10 liters so in 10 liters it is just multiplied by 2 so into 2 that is 4 minutes so in 4 minutes 10 liter water is filled right now we need to see which one is coming so let's say a has started we are assuming that a has started so in the next one minute obviously a will work but a's speed is 3 liters per minute and the required quantity to be filled is only 2 more liters okay so this next 2 liter has to be filled by a at a speed of 3 liter per minute to fill 2 liters a will take 2 by 3 minutes all right now 1 minute is 60 seconds so 2 by 3 minute would be 40 seconds so the total time would be 4 minute 40 seconds right so total time would be equal to 4 minute 40 seconds okay this is the answer of this question here though it is not mentioned we have assumed in the order of order of appearance a should come the first though it should be given usually it will be given in the question okay now let's take up question number 18 it says a b can separately fill a system in 15 minutes and 18 minutes third pipe c can empty it in six minutes a and b are kept open for six minutes in the beginning and the third pipe is also opened then the third pipe is also opened in what time will the system be emptied all right so let's do one thing let's find the total work or the total tank capacity that must be the lcm of 15 18 and 6 so it must be equal to 90 liters okay so total tank capacity is 90 liters hence you can find the speeds a take 15 minutes a takes 15 minutes to fill the tank so speed of a will be 90 divided by 15 that is plus 6 liter per minute then b takes 18 minutes to fill the tank so the speed would be 90 divided by 18 so it is plus 5 liters per minute and c takes 6 minutes to empty the tank so its speed would be 90 by 6 and that is equal to minus 15 liters per minute all right so and now the question is saying that uh, two pipes a and b are kept open for six minutes in the beginning so for the first six minutes what will happen during the first six minutes let's see during the first six minutes only a and b are opened so they'll be able to fill six liters per minute plus five liters per minute so the combined speed is six plus five into six liters so the six plus five is 11 11 into six is 66 liters water will be filled by a and b in uh, in the first six minutes right and then it says the third pipe is also opened then the third pipe is also opened 
okay now when the third pipe is opened so so after 6 minutes the tank has tank has 66 liters and the combined speed if you see the combined speed now when c is also opened okay uh, after 6 minute c is also opened right so their combined speed after 6 minutes would be equal to 6 plus 5 minus 15 Six plus five minus fifteen. Now eleven minus fifteen is minus four liters per minute. Okay. So how much time is it going to take to empty the whole tank? Now is is that uh, now the tank has sixty six liter water divided by the net combined speed is minus four. So divide by four liter per minute. Minus sign shows that the tank will be emptied. So sixty six by four is thirty three by two minutes. Now thirty three by two is actually Sixteen and a half minutes. Okay, so the tank will be emptied in sixteen and a half minutes. All right. Now let's take up the next question. The next question says that a cistern is provided by two taps A and B. A can fill it in twenty minutes and B in twenty-five minutes. So total work. Let's assume the LCM of 20 and 25 which is 100 liters okay now uh, the speeds can be calculated as let's say the a takes 20 minutes so the speed of a would be speed of a would be 100 by 20 which is plus 5 liters per minute okay now b takes 25 minutes to fill the tank that means speed of b would be 100 upon 25 which is 4 liter per minute that is plus 4 liter per minute okay now both the taps kept open for 5 minutes so for the first 5 minutes what will happen during the first 5 minutes let's see in the first 5 minutes both a and b are open so their net speed would be 5 plus 4 and into 5 minutes so it is 5 plus 4 is 9 9 into 5 is 45 liters so 45 liters are filled in the first 5 minutes now what is the remaining quantity to be filled now the remaining quantity to be filled is 100 minus 45 which is 55 liters and it says after 5 minutes the second one is turned off so b is turned off only a is switched on so the remaining quantity is filled by a so the time taken by a for the remaining quantity would be equal to 55 divided by 5 which is 11 minutes i repeat first you calculate the quantity filled in the first 5 minutes that is 45 liters after this 45 liters what is the remaining quantity 55 liters this 55 liter is filled by only a speed of a is 5 liters per minute so 55 liters divided by 5 liters per minute that must be 11 minutes so this is the time taken by a to fill the remaining uh, system all right now the next question question number 20 is almost same as question number 19 it says two pipes a and b separately fill a tank in 6 hours and 8 hours respectively both the pipes are open together but one and a half hours after the start uh, a is turned off how much time will it take to fill the tank okay how much time will it take to fill the tank okay so we are asking the question is asking the total time all right so let's say the total work total work is equal to LCM of six and eight. Now LCM of six and eight is twenty-four liters. So speed of let's say the first one A would be it takes six hours to fill the tank. So speed would be twenty-four by six, and that is four liters per hour. B takes eight hours, so its speed would be twenty-four by eight, that is three liters per hour. Now during the first one and a half hour, what will happen? their combined speed would be 4 plus 3 the combined speed would be 4 plus 3 into 1 and a half hour is 3 by 2 hours so it will be 7 into 3 21 by 2 liters this much water will be filled now what is so this is uh, uh, what is the quantity remaining so remaining quantity remaining quantity would be equal to 24 minus 21 by 2 
Now this will be 48 minus 21, that is 27 by 2 liters. Now who is filling this 27 by 2 liters? A is turned off. So the time by B for the remaining would be equal to the required quantity 27 by 2 divided by speed, speed of B that is 3. So it is 9 by 2 hours, right? Which is 4 and a half hours. The question is asking for the total time. So the total time would be equal to initial one and a half hour plus later four and a half hours. So it will be equal to six hours. So the total time taken to fill this tank is six hours.